Hello, beautiful people of the internet. How are you all today? I hope you had a fabulous Easter. Um, I know I did, and if you haven't seen my Easter, you can click on the link below to my last video. Today I am here to talk to you about my impulse control. And if I was a bigger believer in uh, astrology, I would attribute it to my sign, which is Aquarius, because Aquarius is supposed to have these random bursts of creative energy, and I definitely struggle with that. Really, as a writer, I tend to get obsessed with one story at a time that I'm working on, and I just go, 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 and then all of a sudden lose interest in it, and that is not productive. So that also carries over into my hobbies. All of a sudden I will decide that I want to pick something up and learn how to do it and be the best and the greatest and the perfectest. That's not a word. So I'll try to learn how to do something and then generally I kind of buy everything I need to do that something and then forget about it. One of those things is violin. There's this violinist named David Garrett, who if you've not heard of him, you really should look him up because he is not only very pretty to look at, um, he is also an amazingly talented musician. And I actually went to go see him a couple years ago for St. Patrick's Day, which I will also link below if you'd like to see that video. A few years ago I was walking to work and I started noticing these posters around my neighborhood of this beautiful blonde man sat back in like a gothic throne with a violin against his chest, looking all dreamy and sleepy and creepy and beautiful. And I thought, who the hell is this guy? So I looked him up, found out he was David Garrett, this child prodigy violinist turned crossover rock artist, and I really started to get into his music. So much so that I convinced myself that I could play the violin too. I play a couple of different instruments. I'm sort of self-taught on piano, not very good at all, but I can plunk out a tune, okay? When I was in grade school, I played trumpet and I played baritone, so I kind of know my way around brass. And then since I was 10, I have played the guitar. Oh, that is not in tune at all. It's not good. That was supposed to be Ziggy Stardust. Finger pick. Ah. Oh God, I'm sorry, David Bowie. I mostly learned guitar to accompany myself when I sing. Get Oh, damn it. <laughs> Ziggy play. My thinking was, well, I know how to play the guitar. I can learn how to play the violin. Of course, how hard can this be? I already have a basic understanding of string instruments. Very, very wrong. So wrong. So entirely wrong. My birthday had just come around and also a tax refund had just hit my bank account. So I thought, why don't I invest in a violin? They can't be that expensive. I know there's like Stradivariuses and crap out there, but I don't need one of those fancy things. I'll just buy one off of eBay. Knowing absolutely nothing about violins, I went ahead and purchased this one, because it's blue and pretty. And obviously the prettier the instrument, the prettier it's gonna sound. <laughs> This was a whole $60, and it came with a whole kind of pack that included the case, it included a bow, I think it came with some, uh, some resin and some extra strings and stuff like that. And I decided that I was going to teach myself how to play violin on this thing. I don't even remember how to hold the bow. Oh god. Nope, that's not right. How did this go on? Oh god. <laughs> no! I made a sound. I gotta make a sound on that one string. I'm good on that one string. See, I can play it. <laughs> what I didn't know about violin is that it is extremely high maintenance. To a guitar, all you have to do is tune it on occasion, dust it down, maybe rub it with a little bit of oil to keep it shiny. They're easy to maintain. This sucker needed so many accessories to maintain it and make it sound like 
music. I bought brand new strings to put on it, nicer metal strings because the nylon strings were terrible. Bought a nicer bow to use with it because the one that came with it was full of plastic that just shredded the second I put it across the strings. I had to buy different resin. Apparently only noobs use the resin that comes with the violin. <laughs> all in all, this $60 violin ended up costing me about $200 in accessories. And after all of that, I still cannot make it make a pretty sound because this is a very badly manufactured violin meant to rope in suckers like me and overambitious parents who want their children to learn how to play these things. So now basically what I have is a wall decoration, which um, it will become once I move into a new apartment. Even though How I Met Your Mother did the whole blue instrument thing, I didn't know about that until after I had purchased this, so I'm not copying them. No. So needless to say, I will be leaving the violin playing up to David Garrett himself, and he can continue to do that in his beautiful German way, and I will continue to not play the violin and appreciate him, because that is how things should be. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever picked up a musical instrument on impulse, or if you play violin and you want to laugh at me, please leave those comments too. I have started an Instagram and a Twitter account for this YouTube channel. The Instagram is the same as the channel, Fat Girl Beautiful. The the Twitter is also Fat Girl Beautiful, but there is no I in girl because Twitter wouldn't let me put that many characters into my name. It's Fat Girl Beautiful on Twitter, but I will leave those links below if you would like to check them out. I also still have my Facebook page open, and I hope to be updating that sporadically as I keep doing these vloggy type videos. So I hope you all are doing well, and I will talk to you soon.